guys how are you it's your girl oh boy it's jen and i want to say thank you guys so much for coming back to my channel okay y'all see the muscles i'll do a light <sighs> light flex anyway that's not what i'm here for i feel like i have not done a cooking video of some sort with you guys in a very long time so no i'm not sponsored by duncan but i love Jen runs on Duncan. <laughs> it's a joke. Anyway, I decided to, I wanted to start, I don't know, experimenting with food. I feel like I eat pretty much kind of the same things daily. And so now, um, this month leading up until my birthday, which is December 15th, I'm a sad, sad gang, sad gang. <laughs> I want to start trying different meals. So this is an item that I found on Pinterest. The foods that I'm going to be making today, can you guys guess? First of all, what's my favorite food? What's my favorite dish? Pasta. <laughs> y'all didn't know that by now, so I'm wrong with y'all. Between pasta and pizza. Anyway, today I'm actually going to be making a vegan outfit. I have not had it. So this is going to be my best reaction. Um, I will list all of the ingredients that you're supposed to have here. I'll input a photo, but for now, I'll just go over them. We have garlic. I also have fresh garlic. It did say in the recipe online that you can either do either or fresh garlic or garlic pata. Nutritional yeast. This is my first time buying. Like I didn't have this, so I actually had to go out and get some. But I've heard as a vegan substitute, I think for like B12 or protein, this is really good, okay? We also have some pink salt. And we also have, they say full fat. I didn't realize, that's why reading is fundamental, that this says reduced fat. Definitely said full fat on the recipe. But hey, we have Trader Joe's coconut milk um and i already had some coconut milk that i had from before that i see in the jar so i'll just put that together oh it also said i actually had to run out and get it this tapico starch from Goya. um it also had up there smoke liquid smoke I couldn't find um, just plain liquid smoke on this all like the hickory smoke and I didn't want to buy that so that's what I got so and then for my pasta I'm going to be using butternut squash so this is yeah we trying it y'all um, I'm not sure exactly what I want to add it says on, you know online the online recipe that you could also add like mushrooms I don't have any mushrooms I do have zucchini so I will chop up some zucchini and probably put in there as well. And I'm trying to think what else I have. I'm only going to use what I have. The items that I did have to go out and buy, obviously, is I did not have this starch. I did not have the nutritional yeast. And I did not have the, well, I did have a little bit of coconut milk. And remember, don't get reduced fat. Reading is fundamental. I only read where it said coconut milk. I didn't look at the part that said reduce fat. It tells you to get full fat, so we're trying it out. But, you guys ready to get cooking with me? Y'all ready for this? I don't know what I'm doing. I guess I drink my hot coffee with a straw. Let's go, y'all! Let's go cook.
and I are working here today. Y'all saw that video? Um, let me tell y'all something. I am not a chef, okay? I definitely had to make this sucker twice, okay? And that's the point that I want to stress to you guys. It's okay if you screw up. That's why I always buy extra supplies. But um, as you saw in the video, I mean, I put too much of the yeast or flour in the first batch because I was being impatient and wasn't allowing the heat to um, kind of uh, what type of texture I wanted. Um, I think what I'm going to start doing is actually picking maybe a recipe a week and maybe dropping on Facebook, not Facebook, Instagram, dropping it on Instagram where I try different either vegan or vegetarian meals off of Pinterest and will try to follow their breakdown i think i may do that that actually sounds like it was fun because today was fun to me it was easy um like i said i screwed up the first time on the batch and this is kind of i saved it just to show you guys how thick i made the you guys see? how thick i made the sauce the first time um so obviously this is not what we want it to look like at the end i will save you guys or show you guys um what it the pasta actually ended up coming out as which second time I made it I learned to be patient um, and kind of allow the sauce to heat up um, I guess I would say pardon the fact that I don't know measurements like what I use only because the instructional guide off of Pinterest that I used did not tell me either so they did not say like I use three-fourths a cup of this or this it did not do that so I kind of pretty much just used one can of the coconut milk remember my coconut milk was reduced fat and I think that played a part in why um, I don't know I end up adding more starch because I felt it was just a little bit thinner I did in the beginning I did the coconut milk I added the I think I added a little bit of water with the coconut milk but anyway lo and behold it came out okay 
um, I will show a photo after this of the meal actually plated and kind of what I end up making with it. I didn't add anything. I didn't add any mushrooms, anything inside of it simply because I wanted to be able, since this is my first time making it, be able to taste the, the, the authentic taste of the vegan Alfredo sauce. So now that I kind of um, have a vibe for it, I kind of know how I'm going to drink it and try to make it again. But I will be back again. Um, by the time this video drops, I think it'll be dropping on Friday. So you guys will be able to see what I, you know, how I planned out, how everything worked. If you guys like these type of videos, I think I'm already going to just make more of these because I think it's really cool to see like me going out. That that part was fun, going out, buying products that I traditionally wouldn't have in my kitchen um and trying them out so we can try them together like it's okay to make mistakes you guys saw in the first video how i screwed up and put way too much you guys are probably gonna look at it and be like yeah jen like yeah we saw that you put too much of the flour in it but don't judge me like i'm not no chef i'm out here girl trying to navigate the world figuring things out so Hope y'all figure out with me. Um, I'll be back next Friday. And that's all I gotta say. Oh, 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 I forgot. Do not forget. You guys know the routine. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Also, don't forget to share this video if you liked it. I would thoroughly appreciate it because I think I'm pretty funny. I keep telling you guys that. And then three, don't forget to hit that bell notification. Y'all know I drop a video every Friday, but I feel like you guys have been somewhat busy so I want you to click that bell notification so you know for a fact that I am dropping a video every Friday okay cool bye got y'all bye y'all